Hi everyone, welcome back on my channel. In this video we are talking about the new four quotes from Bizan's collection by Chanel that in Italy has arrived these days. So I can tell you I've bought one of these new four palettes and they probably take part of the new Fall 23 collection that I saw in Asia has already dropped in store. So I think hopefully we will have soon the whole collection. In this video we will take a closer look to these uh, four quotes and I will show you the makeup looks uh, that uh, comes with these uh, eyeshadow palettes and I will tell you also the palette uh, I've bought. So if you're new to my YouTube channel please take a moment to subscribe and don't forget to follow me also on Instagram where I post quite daily makeup news. So we have uh, four kinds of shades, so we have Parure Imperial, we have Parure Venusian, Parur Baroque and Parur Crystal. So this Chanel makeup creation evokes the Byzantine influences that inspired Gabrielle Chanel's bijou in a limited edition palette. So we have these four harmonies inspired by the color and the sparkle of her gems and they are very rich and opulent jewels. Uh, also for the eye. So we have this emerald green, the ruby red, the golden, the warm gold. So it really creates a very um, exclusive jewel um, object for, uh, for makeup in this uh, golden case, uh, very particular. I really don't like it so much because uh, I would prefer something different than this golden case, but it looks so strange to me. But besides this, uh, um, yeah, they are very, very beautiful. And uh, this is the creations. So the makeup look very graphic with these jewels. And you, you see they bleached also the eyebrows to make this um, makeup look more uh, strong and uh, with a very impactful effect. As you can see, Parur Baroque is the most colorful palette of this collection and it has a green, a sort of red magenta shade, a beautiful green golden shade and a sort of uh, light uh, white shade. So let's start from this palette because in my opinion it's the most uh, iconic palette of the collection because we have a very beautiful color story in design. This kind of colors are always very powerful combined together. In makeup mm, you know you have to be um, to be quite uh, clever to combine the shades and today I decided to try a sort of uh, makeup look based on these colors. Now it probably washed away a little bit because I I filmed a video for my Instagram account and take some picture of this makeup look and uh, hours ago so probably it faded away a little bit but as you can see I used a green eyeshadow all over the eyelid and then I applied here in my crease um, sort of yeah magenta shade i took the shade from candor and seduction and then a very light but luminous green golden shade here near the waterline this combo is quite wearable so the color are not so strong they seem to be quite light and not so pigmented that's what I mean and yeah I decided to skip this palette just because I know the color story is not uh, 
in my cords, but I love it. I think it's the most beautiful palette of the of these four released. This is the makeup look I created, and this is the makeup look that Chanel suggested to show all the shades in these quads. As you can see, they combined the the pink in the crease in the upper part here to give that and um, also to emphasize <laughs> this color combination and you can see that uh, in this picture the green is used also as a sort of uh, liner it really depends by your um, your skin color so i think on um, pale skin so with uh, uh, light eyes uh, has the model here uh, probably it shows off better instead uh, on deep skin tone probably the green if it's not uh, metallic probably won't pop so much <laughs> that's what I mean so here is the combination as you can use this color scheme Paru Venetian is very attractive in my opinion because it has this um, brown peachy tones so it's more towards the warm tones it has this light ivory warm ivory shade sort of light golden shade and also it has this beautiful white shade that in the pan seems white instead it's a uh, green white and it really changes everything in my opinion so you can see here the shades applied on the model i think this color is very beautiful applied all over the eyelid but you have to be careful because if you apply after probably it would change every shade underneath uh, in a, not a pretty way that's what I mean probably I would use it here or instead yeah all over the eyelid with the brown shade as here as being applied instead I will go for this soft uh, warm look um, very beautiful this palette I think is very light uh, as you can see very very natural because um, it will just give you a light touch, <laughs> that's what I mean. Now let's move to Paru Crystal, that the one I bought. I bought it, but I really um, was uncertain about this palette in general, because um, I saw chic profile Tabia, so if you are new to her account, please take a look, because she always has these beauty news uh, swatches and uh, she's always on point and she applied this palette and uh, also um, Baru Baroque so she has swatches of these two palettes and also she has uh, pictures with uh, makeup application and you can see the colors are very yeah not so pigmented she said that she had to layer several times before the colors really could uh, pop and so I wasn't certain because the palettes are beautiful and I decided to try Paru Crystal because it has a very beautiful effect in my opinion it's light but it has this reflection very very fairy in a way it's based as you can see on pink tones because we have um, a light pink and also a muted pink dusty rose then we have this brown that is supposed to be a cool brown and also this white that's not a real white but is something very shimmering light shimmering i mean very very tiny glitters and it's very fairy and when i saw it applied 
it seems to get a lavender shade that always catches me and I really love it in fact so so I also purchased the latest Dior eyeshadow palette based on reds and so I decided to take something more um, yeah natural <laughs> something like this so more uh, more light uh, to um, to see another combination we have Parure Imperial. Parure Imperial is the reason why I skipped this because I had this new palette by Dior based on red tools. And this palette is also based, as you can see, on a beautiful symphony of red, uh, purple, and ivory golden shades. So it's more intense in a way, and uh, you can see here in the combination is used the reddish tone on the lid on the crease and then the two ivory shades here in the upper part and in the lower part so it's quite a luminous palette also as you can see here on the light blue eyes they put the, the reddish tone more close to the to the base of the eye so you can see it is also so you can see the red is uh, upper and down so it really makes uh, pop the light blue and we have this golden shade in the center that makes this uh, look um, less stronger and more luminous so I really enjoy this uh, <clears throat> color combination on the model and I think it's a beautiful palette if you have uh, light blue eyes or green eyes because of these shades and I love it. Um, so uh, thank you for watching, let me know your impressions about this palette, which one intrigue you the most, uh, which one do you prefer or which one you are gonna buy. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in the swatches and in the makeup look with the palette I purchased, please join me here on YouTube and on Instagram and uh, see you soon in the next video. See you soon, bye!